Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. I said I wasn't going to do any more videos, but guess what? I lied. <laughs> Here she is, uh, Rabia. <laughs> so anyway, let's let's just let's just get started with this thing here. First of all, I binged two more movies. Not only did I watch them one time, I watched them two, three times each. Um, I tend to do that because I know the first time I miss things, and then the second time I will miss things. <laughs> Something happened, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. This camera's weird. What's, what's, what's up with that? Anyway, so um, let's start with Man of the House. I loved, loved, loved this movie. At first, I thought, oh no. Oh no, they're they're setting this up. You know, old dude, a bunch of young cheerleader girls. It's gonna be disgusting to watch. It's gonna be something I don't want to see. And um, they didn't do that. Yay! They kept the decorum and the decency in the movie. They allowed Tommy Lee Jones to be a father figure instead of the, that tension between, like, is he going to sleep with any of these college coeds or is he going to maintain his, you know, distance with them? Because I tell you the truth, I'm sort of not that kind of chick where I want to see an old dude, like, wrestling around with a bunch of, of, of uh, younger girls. I don't want to see it. It's just, oh, I made that worse, didn't I? What happened just now? Oh. Oh, I broke it. How did I break it? Look, it's even worse now. You see, you can't trust me with anything. <laughs> I broke the camera. I, I, do smell. I don't know what to do. Anyway, so. I mean, they didn't do that, right? Here we have like all these like like sexy, nubile young girls with the short dresses, the midriffs, the boobs out, and and here's a man. He he's a man, a masculine man, and he's gonna be locked in the house with these girls. Like, what's gonna happen? The tension, right? The buildup. Well, it's Tommy Lee Jones. I don't remember one movie where he actually was inappropriate like that. But anyway, I better not talk about that because I don't know for sure. My binging is not done. Uh, but here, okay, here's the thing. I was very uncomfortable with Cedric the Entertainer in this movie. I, it was gratuitous. It was just tokenish. Uh, he was a buffoon. Uh, he was in blackface. It looked like they had darkened his skin. They did darken the skin of this uh, the, the African-American cheerleader. I've seen that actress and other things, and her skin is not that dark. Not that I care. <coughs> it's just unnecessary. Why do it? Why do it? She, we know she's black. We know she's mixed or something, but either way, she's a beautiful young girl. We don't need the additional makeup. Ugh, don't do it. Cedric made me very uncomfortable. I was like, why? Why this gospel choir? Ah! You know, screaming. And, I mean, we have this Texas town where the focus seems to be on the university. And unless somehow they identify this Baptist Pentecostal church as being part of the university in some way, why is it there? Well, apparently Cedric is somehow connected to somebody who's doing these bad things that they're after them for. And, but it's just not built up well enough for me to be convinced and that he's just not a token in this movie. I think that was at the height of his, his popularity when this movie was made, The Kings of Comedy and all that maybe. And that's why they tapped into that. Cedric is funny. Cedric is hilarious. And I love his humor. Just didn't think it fit in this movie. Um, you know, he's a little too rough around the edges for this kind of movie, I think. Yeah. 
and the physical humor, I cringed when he's down on the floor and he's kind of, that was when he was, he's not overweight like that now, but when he was down on the floor and in the uniform, oh, that's a fat joke. That's fat shaming. Fat shaming. Don't do it. And then he does the backflips. Why? Why? This is like those movies where black people always have to be dancing or singing. Did they have to insert that in the movie? Not at all. Listen, they had all these beautiful little cute little girls who could have been doing a million amusing things like they had done throughout the movie and they didn't need Cedric. Is that I don't know. Anyway, somebody thought it was a good idea. That's what happens with black people in movies. That somebody always thinks, oh, it's good to insert this because everybody just likes him. They just like him, whether it's appropriate or fits or not. They just like him, you know. Um, he just made me uncomfortable. I'll be honest. I, I'd say that's a zero here. Uh, there's another actor in this movie. Don't know his name. I've done it again. Uh, he's the younger or the shorter of the Rangers who is helping protect the girls. He is such a good actor. He's a cutie pie. Oh my God, he's a cutie pie. And uh, he reminds me sort of of an FBI agent I dated way back. <laughs> same accent, same kind of whatever. But anyway, he's a cutie pie. Um, I liked that the girls didn't overdo it. Everything seemed to like have a good rhythm to it. Um, their words, they were often very funny, uh, not too over the top, not too sexy. I like I the oh I sort of cringe when he handcuffed them. Oh yeah, that was a little uncomfortable. It should have been another way to get him out of that fix without him handcuffing college coeds to with him. Not good. Um, I love that. I think his daughter was in it. His real blood daughter was in this movie. Lang's daughter. I couldn't see the credits. Tubi TV did something where when the credits started to roll, it sort of blocked it out with advertisements. That's what I get for having this a free movie. <laughs> it's free. Um, that was his daughter. What a precious. She's so precious. And she looks like, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Um, most soft voice. If that was his daughter, you could tell she loves her daddy. That made me so happy. I never had a daddy. I need a daddy. No, I meant to, I need a father. Father, not a daddy. Well, no, I get, well, anyway. Not important. We'll figure that out later. But the point of the matter is, these girls brought it. They even had the little schoolgirl crush thing with one of the co-eds. And she didn't overdo it. She wasn't pawing on him. And he was like, she was like, you don't like me? And he said, no. And I was like, good. That should have just been very perfect. Clear. I don't like you. Not like that. Okay, just get that clear. Um, it was just perfect. It was just done with the exception of Cedric. Um, not too much violence. I didn't like the fact that they shot the Texas Ranger that was his partner. They just shot her through the heart and she was laying her up like that. And I was like, oh, damn, is she dead? Or what? What's happening here? I didn't know until he had the newspaper that she wasn't dead. I don't, I don't know. I mean, because she looked dead laying there. She looked really dead, right? Um, listen, I've been there. I've been like that girl, the cheerleaders, the co -eds. I've been that girl. And I was a whole lot hotter than them. <laughs> I know it's terrible, is it? Yeah, well, anyway, maybe I thought about it. But I got hired as a Playboy bunny. Maybe I was. <laughs> but I, w I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I got hired. Had the outfit. Didn't actually do it. Long story. You won't hear. 
the rest of it here. No, you won't. Anyway, so love this movie. It was so cute, so entertaining. It didn't jar you with too much adult male co-ed stuff. It was appropriate. I think Tommy Lee Jones looked so cute in the cowboy hat. And the Willie Nelson music, perfect. Yes, yes. I love country music, right? I love country music. Love Willie Nelson. Alison Krauss. George Strait. I have I have a George Strait CD that I played it to all the grooves were off it, right? Uh, but that's not important. This movie rocked. It was a good movie. Take Cedric out, you'd have a perfect movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, as usual, ba bump ba bump, Tommy Lee Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I do I have a huge crush. <laughs> That's what comes from binge watching. It's it's like you see somebody all the time in real life and you know, then you develop either you hate them or you love them. And in this case, I've been watched myself into a crush, but I'm sure when I stop, it'll stop as well. No worries. I'm not a stalker. I don't live in Texas anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Rules of engagement. Oh my God. This movie, from the very top, when it first starts and it pans in on Tommy Lee Jones, I didn't know it was him. Because he's got, is it muck? Mud or muck or something all over him. But he looks good in muck. He looked beautiful. See, that's the crush talking. <laughs> Auntie Who. Samuel L. Jackson, I swear, I swear, there's one, never be another one. He is commanding, he's tall, he is handsome, he's rugged, he's got that street thing, just like simmering under the surface where I'm going to cut you, I'm going to cuss you, you know, all of it <laughs> put together, you know, from the streets to Vietnam, he don't change one bit. He is who he is. I la 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 Samuel L. Jackson. And in this movie, it was a little weird because I'm used to seeing him like semi-bald or whatever with the Kangol. And seeing him with hair was like distracting. He had this like hair with a widow's peak or something going on. I was like, oh, no. No. Man. Anyway, distracting in the jungle, in the jungle of Vietnam. Hot, bugs, filth, blood, guts, it was all there. And the buddy, the bromance, yes, between him and Tommy Lee. Very well acted. I believe that friendship. And now that I've seen other movies, I think it's real. I think it's real, you know. But here we go. Um, the scene where he shoots the Vietnamese, the Viet Cong guy in the head, is reminiscent of that newsreel, black and white newsreel, where the Vietnamese military guy shoots the Vietnamese guy that killed his family. Uh, I can't watch that newsreel. I can't. It, it, tears. I get. It's just like war is hell, right? War is more than hell. I can't watch that. So it was kind of like triggering because it, when I first watched it, I didn't know what he was going to do. And it's just like, oh, sh I was like, Pooh, oh, sh he really did it. War is hell. War is hell. And fast forward, um, the relationship between him and Samuel very believable. I actually do believe these two men uh, care for each other, that they're friends. It came across in the movie. Um, the limp. Now, this is what's weird. 
He had a limp in the beginning of the movie from the from the gunshot. Then some the rest of the movie he wasn't limping. Maybe it got better. Maybe he had physical therapy. Maybe there was a miracle. I don't know. Got better though. And I was like, oh, he lost the lump. That's okay. I can forgive that. I like the fight scene where he gets drunk when he comes back from Yemen and they get into a brawl and the brawl turns into a pillow fight. And I was like, yeah, I liked it, but would it really have turned into a pillow fight? Maybe, maybe, may happen. But, um, I don't know, you know, um, I liked Tommy Lee as a um, military, as a Jag, a lawyer. I liked it. I liked him. I liked him cross-examining. He has that, 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 that personality that comes through where he could interrogate the hell out of somebody. He can interrogate people just looking at him. I mean, you'd be like telling him the truth and he didn't have to ask you a question. The way he looked, I was like, yes, I did it. I did it. You know, you know, don't ask. I did it. <laughs> I'd be confessing. I'd be confessing. Yes. But anyway, oh my God. The first scene when he comes into the courtroom and he's throwing up and he comes and he goes, I'm late. The reason I'm late is because I was throwing up. I was like, dead on. He's got it. That's it. Oh my God. Let me. <laughs> That's it. I was believing. I was believing reality. Human beings are fragile. We're sensitive. Shit affects us. He's a man, but he's a man who has feelings, deep feelings. This is affecting him. His friend might get the death penalty, guys. I was like, oh. Yes, bring it, my brother. Oh, yes. Well, another movie where he's divorced. But at least he had a family in this movie. And a dad. I so appreciated that he had a dad. I liked it. I, I hope he liked having a dad in that movie. Um, oh, I don't know. I get... Sometimes I get little butterflies, right? Don't know why. Um, he looked good in this movie. Um, when he was in Yemen, I... Okay, look. Back it up. Let me talk about a little bit what, as a woman, what I look at in a movie. I look at... The script, the script affects me greatly. There, there is a rhythm that I connect with in movies, and if that rhythm is off anywhere, it jolts me, and I get distracted. I would say the one thing about his movies is the rhythm is good, and he's good at it. Um, I think he does a lot of his own stunts. But I think the older he gets, the harder it's for him to do it, and he should stop. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not his boss, but it's just less believable. And I actually worry about him getting hurt. Yeah. Because in, in, let me back up to, back to Man of the House, he was limping. You could tell there was like an ankle injury or something, or a hip injury, and he was, his body looked like he was favoring uh, one of his ankles or something. But I'm, I'm not really sure what was going on there. But uh, getting getting back to now, to rules of engagement, um, I look at the rhythm. I look at the characters and, and if they're necessary to be there. What do they contribute? Is that a distraction? Um, Blair Underwood, mm, 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 mm. good to look at, yes. <laughs> I was surprised I saw him in there. I was like, yes, Blair Underwood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, 
the the beginning opening scene not the opening the scene in Yemen with all the chaos I I'm beginning to understand something about me I don't like chaotic scenes in a film because I'm not just watching I'm analyzing harder to analyze chaos um, it wasn't clear how they how they made it clear that the crowd was a threat because they would pan from a crowd with guns to a crowd with no guns. I think they could have done more to establish that this crowd was in fact armed and a threat to these military guys. Um, the uh, as usual, as usual, Tommy Lee Jones just brought a very good performance. I think he could just take a little any inconsequential thing and and turned it into a beautiful performance he can do no wrong he can absolutely uh, do no wrong what an actor what an actor I think that's why I'm hooked that's why I'm binge watching I almost feel bad that all those many years I didn't pay any attention to him I was watching other stuff and now I'm catching up and you know once again like I said in the previous video I'm watching a 13, a 13, in some cases, 20 year old, 20 year back, Tommy Lee Jones. And it's kind of disappointing I missed all that. But I'm catching up now. I've, I've seen the most recent. I didn't, I haven't seen the em Emperor or, or some of the more recent ones. I'm working up to them. Um, I just want to end this by saying, I am a bona fide Tommy Lee Jones fan for life because this man set has set the bar incredibly high for these new actors. I don't think any of them with their schoolboy good looks is ever gonna reach that level of Tommy Lee Jones now. He didn't have those kind of look. I mean, let me be very clear. The man is sexy. Okay, sex and sick. He's sexy. He doesn't need that other stuff because it's in him. It's his in him. He's a man. You know, you look at it. Some of these actors you look at and you go, mm, mm, I wonder if he's, you know, what? It's like looks too effeminate, prettier than me in some cases. Tommy Lee Jones. Man, masculine. He is what a woman wants. Women, I'm sure women flock to him. I'm sure his wife probably has to stand around with a stick and just be like, bitches, you know, get get away from my husband, you hoes. Anyway, he's just to me. I look at his face and I go, yeah, people talk about how he has aged badly. People talk about how he aged early. Uh, whatever it is, um, that doesn't change the fact of what he embodies and his energy and and who he is as a person. I can see all of that in his acting, and that's that's what's important to me. Um, I definitely have a fan crush. No harm, no foul. I'm not a stalker. <laughs> I can't stalk interstate anyway. That's too too much. Uh, <clears throat> But the fact of the matter is, this kind of acting, I don't think we'll see again. Um, this level, consistency, since I think the 70s, 60s he's been acting, I believe. What's that movie, Rolling Thunder? Oh my God, with William Devane? The two of them together? Fire? Chaos? Anger, hell, these two, wait a minute, listen, Eric, talk about William Devane, I love him too, but in this movie, Tommy Lee Jones is sex Z, sex and Z, okay, I could not get my eyes off his body, his movements, um, now, this may sound really bad let me say it there's something about a man and how he handles a gun I'm so sorry and I I, I it's something about a man who handles himself in a certain kind of way carries himself 
is that you know how he moves it's like you don't have to be pretty you don't have to have muscles rippling you know bust popping out your t-shirt oh but it's something about how you command your, your space and move through that space and and the rhythm and it's like music it's like yes yes i hear your the music of your of your existence and it just is, harmonizes with me when i see him i get stirred up i'm not going to say aroused i'm not quite sure that's what it i get stirred up because he he gets you to join him you get involved because he's involved he's involved he's conveying god is a psychic maybe it's a little bit energetic i think listen i bet you i don't know him i bet you he's an empath i bet you he's somewhat of a psychic too i'll never know but y'all who do know i bet you high five me high five me I bet he is i bet he picks up stuff you know somebody who who can act like that that's not just physical that's not just I read the script here's what I do he's communicating with the character he's communicating in some fashion the character becomes in him and it's just marvelous it's beautiful to watch it's great to watch we're lucky we have Tommy Lee Jones in this century. That's all I have to say. I will not say any more about that. But this is this week's binge watch. I have more to do. I don't know if I'll get better at it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm an amateur film watcher. I'm the kind of person I climb in my bed. There's a process. Evening. Climb in the bed, food, phone, headphones, because I, I use headphones. I lost a little hearing in my ear when I was a kid, and I like to hear everything crisply, cleanly, because sometimes I'll miss a little word. That affects me a great deal. So I lay in there, turn the lights out, and high-definition television. Yes, ma'am. And sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and I'll go, uh oh, let me let me rewind and catch the tail end. Because sometimes I'll drift off to sleep and I'll miss the tail end or something. I'll rewind and watch again so that it could the continuity is good for me. It's a little, I'm a little Asperger in many ways. <laughs> I admitted that on this on this one. Anyway, so that's it for today. Thank you for dropping in and listening to this amateur talk about the movies she loves and the actor that I am so in movie love with Tommy Lee Jones oh my god keep it up keep it up beautiful work I don't know